What's up? Why are you standing at the gate? It's not time to go in. You cold? What's happening? Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today, we are going to get to do something so super fun. I can't wait. I'm going to take you guys with us. I don't know if you guys will have fun, but essentially, we're going to get to um, go to my friend's house. She has horses and she has a breed that we're not familiar with, like that we've never got to handle or spend time with or do anything with, like a breed we've never really seen before. A super cool breed. And we're gonna take you guys with us. Girls are doing school, which is why Sam's doing hay himself. And he has it all figured out on how to do it easily himself. But do you see, Sophie has a basket of apples that she brought down for the horses the other day. Today, Gabby was down here doing chores this morning and Sophie and I were watching out the window just as she was getting ready to come back up to the house and I could see Chino at the gate where he is now. He's eating grass there now but he was standing at the gate and he was looking at the barn and I'm like oh I bet you Gabby's coming because uh, he loves her. So she comes out of the barn and like she's used to horses being there. She's used to horses just sitting there looking at her and I'm like okay let's watch and see if she goes over and she says hi to Chino just because obviously it was so obvious he wanted like her to come and talk to him. So Sophie and I are watching, and it was like we were at the movies, and we're just watching, and Gabby comes out of the barn, and he's looking at her, and she's looking at him. She's looking at her, and she goes right to him. Not only did she go and pat him and scratch him and say, hi, Chino, she brought him an apple. She already knew she was going to go and see him in the field before she walked out the door and saw him standing there waiting for her. To me, that is true love. Right, honey bear? I call her honey bear, right? And she's like, no. <laughs> she got some dirt on her bum. You got some dirt on your hair. Holy moly. What are you guys thinking? That's all hay. You could have been eating that, Willow. Hey, be nice to that baby. But you see, she is always, hey. She's always been the one that has been like, doesn't like the horses, other horses around us. She doesn't even like me. Look at her. She's going through something. <laughs> you going through something? So she'll always push the horses off, Sophie or me or any of us. But when she pushes the, the foal off of us, it's extra gentle with her. And I just think it's like amazing to be able to watch them and see them together. They're so cute. Yuck. You're so cute. It just makes me so happy to see Gracie mommy, being a mom to that little foal. Like they're always together. She's always between her in trouble but she's so understated about it she's not mean I mean that's what horses are like she's not mean about it she's not super forward about it she just keeps her safe and I'm actually super proud of Willow for the way that she actually handles that mini like she's definitely always putting her in her place like she needs to do but she's she's gentle about it and careful about it she tells the mini but the mini is proven to them like she listens when they tell her stuff so just before we go i'm hanging up the rest of our saddle pads and i came across this one this is the last one who remembers when we bought this saddle pad i think it was our first ever hundred dollar saddle pad it's like the first one it was like 95 dollars or something and where we bought it probably nobody will remember that it was a long time ago but I remember exactly where we bought it and where we were and we bought it for Gabby's birthday actually. That's a hint. So that is it for now. Those are all of our saddle pads. Less than 60. Probably about 55 saddle pads. That's it. Except for we have like our half pads over here. I might try and hang those up too but they're really heavy. And our western saddle pads. So I'm going to move these. I don't want to leave them here. I feel like if anything, the mice will get them. Western saddle pads cost way more than English. I used to think that English stuff cost more than Western stuff, but it turns out my friend was telling me that Western stuff, tack, costs way more than English tack. Isn't that crazy? All right, so today we're getting to meet this little fella Bella. He is adorable. He's like a chocolate brown with a flax in Maine and we're obsessed. Sophie is obviously obsessed. Gabby's going in. I can feel it. Oh, <laughs> he's like, oh, I've been waiting all day to come down here. <laughs> no, he's going to, he's going to go. He is a beautiful. Oh, he's like, this is wonderful. So he has his own little private beach at his house. Isn't that amazing? I'd bring Willow down. 
and, and he comes here yeah we if we had this at our house our horses would be like in the water they'd be water horses well, there's Gabby down there just enjoying the water you don't know how to skip rocks Anyway, he's actually a Felabella, like an actual Felabella. Some of them are mixed, but this guy's not mixed, apparently. Sophie wants him, but obviously she has two minis. She's not getting a new one. Yeah, he is so sweet. We love him. Like, absolutely love him. So Willow's 33 inches height, tall, and he's probably like a good. 29 maybe like he's a little chubby coming out of summer but he's probably 29 inches i would bet he's definitely smaller than her but we're not buying him you guys so don't get excited she's so cute like i love when we get to go play with other people's ponies gabby just skipped she just she skipped a rock look at him oh my gosh I love him. Let's see it, Gabby. Do it. Now it won't work. She did it, you guys. You gotta believe her. <laughs> That's not it. Now, this beach is so cute, though. It's like sandy, and then it just drops off. That's my favorite kind of little beach. It's like a little inlet. Like, it's like a little like inlet. Seaweed, but... I see a lot of seaweed. All the way down there, it's full seaweed. Oh. Yeah. Try to eat my shoe. Yeah, well, he's like, thank you for bringing me to the beach, kid. Then we got to meet a fjord, you guys. An actual fjord. She is gorgeous. She's a girl. She's like, look at the water. <laughs> I want to take a video of her, and she's turning her, turning around. No, she's like, I will go back. <laughs> Isn't she adorable, though? Look at the nice pictures you could get here. Anyway. She's a fjord. They've let her hair grow long and she's adorable. And we're just getting to spend the afternoon playing with her. But do you guys think that Gracie could be crossed with a fjord? Because she's got the zebra stripes the same as this horse and she's got the same dorsal stripe and she's the same color. She's just leaving. Yeah, she's just leaving. She's like, I'll take you for a walk. <laughs> the grass is right here. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, I knew, I knew you guys oh, you're so cute. I knew you lost it. Aww. It. Yeah. She's like, I'll just lick you. Oh, so funny. Yeah, Sophie loves him. He, he loves fit him. in our car. Yeah, put, pack him up. We'll take him home. This is our friend's horse, though. Not our horse. But it's fun to spend time with like other people's horses. And I feel like we never get to do that anymore. You found a cool rock? So if it comes for the rocks and for the horses. It's okay, now you have treats in there. Oh! <laughs> the lady, uh, my friend's dog saw this on my purse and grabbed it and tried to run off with it. He's like, can we go back? Yeah, let's go back along the beach. We knew we'd be at the beach two times in a week, though. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up. And we just sing along. And I can't help but feeling just loving. Oh, a clamshell. Yeah, but the inside's great. Yeah, is this the first time you're really getting to see that? No. Whoa. I've seen that a million times. It's neat, though. Isn't it cool? Look, there's a heart. You guys, there's a heart. Oh. together. If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Because I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Do you know how much I love you? I 
home we ended up spending so much time at my friend's house just playing on the beach with her horses it was so fun you guys i discovered that fjords are gorgeous horses absolutely gorgeous dream horses she walks up to you at night and shoves your head her head in the halter hi willow wow willow definitely is not as big as that horse as in is in chubby she's definitely taller though you guys see the difference? Huge yeah. difference. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I'm actually so cold, you guys. We're headed up to the house. Uh, horses are in for the That's night. Why, but hey, they're still at in the morning now. Now today's video is kind of a different video of us just going and hanging out with other horses that aren't even our horses. I'm going to end this video by asking Fjord people. Yay or nay? Do you love them? Or are they... I know they have like a very different personality and they can be kind of stubborn and you have to have a very specific kind of owner. But so comment below, yay or nay? Do you love a fjord or not? Anyway, that's it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?